Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I explore topics in the tech world in order to educate people who are just starting out their tech journeys. Today, I wanted to talk about how much software engineers made in 2021. Now, I know there's a lot of variance involved when figuring out average salaries, things like location, the type of company you work for, as well as the level of software engineer that you are, that all kind of plays a role into determining what your average salary could be. Now, I could just go into Google Google and type in what is the national average software engineering salary for someone in the US and then give you a number such as $78,000 but that won't necessarily help you out because you could be living in California, you could be living in Oklahoma, you could be an entry-level engineer, or you could be a lead or principal engineer. All of those factors come into play, and so I want to help break down what exactly your software engineering salary could be and what the average in your specific situation could be. But before I get into it, I would love it if you liked and subscribed. If you enjoy watching technical videos, then this is the place for you. And if you're someone who's just about to graduate from college, leave a comment below on what you think your entry level software engineering salary will be based on your location. All right, and so with that, let's get started. One of the biggest factors that influence a tech salary is your location. Even with COVID, there's been a lot of controversy over whether or not companies cut people's salaries based on if they are relocating to a place with a lower cost of living. Although this is totally dependent on the company that you're working for, you can still expect a decent chunk of change regardless of which location you're working from. Inflation has risen by 6% and software engineering roles are really in demand right now. According to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, here were the median software engineering salaries by state in 2021. So just as a review, a median is the middle value in a data set, while the average is adding up all of the salaries and then dividing it by the number of salaries that were provided. As you can see, Louisiana has the lowest median software engineering salary coming in at $84,100, while California's median salary was $134,370. These are not indicative of exactly what you'll get, but they're a good way of showing how you compare to other people's national average salaries by state. Don't forget though, there are consequences to having unchanged salaries despite relocating to new places. Eventually, if enough people do this, they may entirely change the demographic of the smaller towns that they move to. This may cause housing costs to go up and then also drive away local residents of those towns. There are pros and cons to location matching, so it really is dependent on the company that you work for and how flexible they're willing to be for you. The next factor is level. Now that we've talked a little bit more about location, it's really important to look at the type of software engineer that you're looking to target in the market. Leveling is really important because the amount of money that you can expect to receive greatly varies based on your experience as well as what value you bring to the table. According to Glassdoor, the average entry-level software engineering salary in the US is $76,881. Again, this is an average, so it doesn't tell us too much because we're excluding things like location and the company, but it does give you a better idea to compare yourself against when you're looking at the salary that you may have been offered. Glassdoor also listed $111,201 as the average for a mid-level engineer and $131,206 for a senior software engineer as well as $141,000 for a lead software engineer. Those are just approximated averages based on a small to mid-sized data set. If you were to estimate an amount based on location and level, you could use the software engineering salary 2021 location chart and national average per level and then just average the two. For example, an entry level in California could potentially make $105,626 as a base salary. Keep in mind, this is not a total compensation. We're not including RSU's performance bonuses as well as sign-on bonuses in these totals, but we'll get to those later. 
The next most important thing in determining the average software engineering salary in 2021 is the company itself. The company can be very important because smaller and mid-sized companies may not have as many resources as those FANG and big tech companies when it comes to spending more money on their employees. These bigger companies will have more resources in order to give out those RSUs and bonuses to their employees as well as that average base salary. But let's just focus on those base salaries at first. The best way to find data on salaries by company is to go to levels.fyi. If we were to choose a company on the Forbes list, such as Walmart, you can see that you're able to filter by software engineer as the role. So if you click on software engineer, there's a median package for the Sunnyvale location. The base salary is $115,000, but the total is $139,000. So if you click on this and scroll down, you can kind of see the breakdown by different levels as well. Now the bigger tech and FANG companies are a little bit better about organizing the differences between the RSUs and the bonuses and breaking it down by level, but some companies don't always have all of that data in order to organize it in an efficient way. Now, if we were to look at a company like Facebook and click on software engineer, you can see that it's a little bit more organized. Um, there's different levels such as an E3 and E4, E5 and E6. The E3 represents entry level and then the E4 I'm assuming means mid-level or senior level and you can also see the total salaries and base salaries as well as stock and bonus. If you scroll down you can also see a trajectory chart and a salary range chart as well as what individuals have gotten in the past few days. The salaries do kind of range from, as you can see, 443,000 all the way to 204,000. But again, these are different levels, so it will vary greatly. And a lot of times these big tech companies also give a lot more RSUs as well as bigger bonuses based on how long you've stayed at the company. So you can go ahead and click on some of these and see how many years of experience as well as how many years at the company this person has been there. And then also other details such as if they're remote or not, as well as what their title is. For an entry level at Facebook, the average base salary is $126,000. So now we can go ahead and take a look at the stock and bonuses. So the stock per year is $41,000. And basically, if we're talking RSUs, which are restricted stock units, what that means is you get equity into the company, but it only vests during a certain cycle. So common vesting schedules could be a certain amount of stock over four years where 25% vests each year. So in this case, they have 41,000 vesting each year. If it was on a cycle of four years, they may be getting $164,000 total in equity. A bonus could also mean a lot of different things. In this case, it could be a sign-on bonus, or it could be a sign-on bonus plus their performance bonus or company performance bonus. So now that we've evaluated average software engineering salaries based on location, level, and company, now's the time that you've all been waiting for trying to get to that magic number of what an average software engineering salary makes. And here is the grand total. So for an entry level software engineer in the US based on if it's a small or mid-sized company, if it's a thing or big tech company, this is what your average would be. So this average includes a base salary plus RSUs and stocks. And as you can see, I've done this same thing for a mid-level engineer as well as a senior software engineer and a lead software engineer. So hopefully this was helpful. I know it's a lot of information to take in. There's a lot of variance. You may have a variety of different skills to bring to the table that may have not been mentioned in this video today, but I'm curious to see if you do have a software engineering role please comment below if you're comfortable, what your level is, what company you work at, as well as a general range in terms of what you make as a software engineer. And if you don't have a role, please leave a comment on what you think you should make based on the company role and location that you are currently searching for. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate it and motivates me to make more videos in the long run. Thanks so much, bye.